після того, як уже кілька тижнів триває контрнаступ. Дякую. Thank you, Susan. Dear friends, I'm honored to be here and pleased to talk to you. First of all, I'd like to use this opportunity and I want to thank uh, President Biden, his administration, Congress, both parties. We are grateful to American people. You are got freedom, independence and democracy in your veins. And so do Ukraine. Ukraine will definitely win this war and it will be our common victory with the United States. We are making every effort to bring closer and secure peace in the future. And in the win, uh, withdraw Wilson, famous uh, 14 points, he stated, we cannot be separated in interest or divided in purpose. We stand together until the end. Just like a century ago, determination and unity have given us a unique opportunity to change the world. So let's do it. Now I'm uh, ready to answer to your questions. And as I understand the first questions, it's about the counteroffensive. And I'd like to say, first of all, it's war. And uh, uh, I'd like to say that uh, we in the, I think in historical and a very important cooperation with our partners, First of all, the United States. And uh, of course, we, uh, I can say that it's uh, counteroffensive. It's going not sample, once again, because it's war. And it's very difficult uh, to be sure and to guarantee that it will be this, particularly by this speed. But in general, it's going by plan. And, uh, and of course, uh, we do all the, all the best. First of all, our heroes in front line, our military, all, all Ukrainian nations, because the main goal, the main our uh, wishes of all Ukrainians, it's to win this war. And of course, it's uh, absolutely, uh, once again, it's, it's great that the cooperation with the, our aliens today in the very high level and uh, it's it's very healthy well thank you so much i дякую вам дуже я тут зауважила що кластерні боєприпаси що їх було схвалено для відправки в Україну вже в Україні і вже застосовуються в боях цікаво знати Чого вам поки що не вистачає з Заходу Сполучених Штатів, що було важливо для ведення війни? First of all, uh, Susan, thank you very much that you are mentioned about cluster ammunition. Yes, it's a great and thank you very much for all these decisions uh, uh, for President Biden once again, for Congress, for uh, all American people. It really was uh, uh, very important. And uh, I can the my my answer will be very simple. Uh, these uh, uh, points it's uh, very clear and understandable. We need and waiting for decisions of other camps. Uh, we waiting uh, and we talking with our partners and we happy that uh, they hurt us. It's about we need more. Our defense, you can see what happened last days in Odessa and Nikolai. You know, I'm sure about what happened with the uh, grain corridors. And this is the problem, not just about for you of Ukraine. It's a problem of the world, of the, of the many countries. And of course, we need F-16s. Many people here. And of course, it, uh, yeah. yeah. Є тут у нас людина, що недавно ще була в Пентагоні, і ми попросимо його пізніше прокоментувати ваші слова. Багато з нас стежили за спробою заколоту Євгена Пригожина в Росії. Ось скажіть, будь ласка, чи 
те, що відбувалося в Росії, в якийсь спосіб відбилося на хід бойових дій в Україні, ви відчули послаблення Росії, Путіна чи якоїсь різниці великої ви не помітили? Uh, as you can see, the war unfortunately continue and uh, it's it's real war and you can see by these attacks and uh, by uh, missiles, rockets and the drones, uh, it's uh, it's continue. Uh, what if you ask about the our attitude for the uh, uh, everything which happens in in the Russia the last month, I think that during this uh, more than 500 days, first of all, Ukrainian nations, our soldiers, our army, it showed that the, the help of our partners showed that this is the not the reality that Russia is uh, have the second strongest army in the world or just strong army. And the second, I think that these events show absolutely clear and understandable for all people in the world. In the list of the strong leaders uh, of, of the world, not more and not place uh, for President Putin. This is my answer. So last week, of course... Того тижня, звісно, відбувся в Відністі саміт НАТО. Мені здається, наприкінці... Були такі цікаві обміни, включаючи твіт президента Зеленського, в якому він назвав абсурдом на які позиції, то що все-таки, на вашу думку, потрібно зробити Україні для того, щоб отримати те запрошення? First of all, I'd like to classify, to clarify that The tweet uh, of President Zelensky was about his uh, uh, estimate and for what goal he going to this summit. And uh, I'd like to not uh, and ask to not found uh, another and more sense of this tweet. The second, it's necessary to look to the exact results of the Vilnius summit. And as I said, President Zelensky's summit was successful, but of course, Always it's possible to make it more successful. But uh, most important that uh, we back to Ukraine and we exactly understand what uh, our next steps. First of all, we have to win this war and as soon as possible. And of course, we continue our cooperations and our coordination with our partners And you listen, and we listen in this summit that uh, all aliens not just believe, they sure that Ukraine, uh, Ukraine will win. Second, Ukraine, Ukraine needs to uh, get uncrowed security guarantees. And I'd like to use this opportunity to say thank you very much because we have long and uh, hard work Uh, in the results of this work was announced declarations. And uh, of course, it's a great work of my co-chairs of the international group of experts, uh, Mr. Rasmussen. I'd like to say thank you very much, my colleagues, uh, advisor of national security of the Alliance of G7, first of all, Jake Sullivan, Emmanuel Bonn, uh, Jens Plotner, and many others. Uh, Tim Barlow, the colleagues from Japan, the colleagues from Italy, the colleagues from Canada and other countries. And uh, the third, uh, we need to continue working of the implementation of the peaceful formula of President Zelensky. And now I'm very involved of the preparation of the very soon uh, second meeting of in the level of advisors Uh, in which we continue the consultations for the goal to organize peaceful summit. I'd like to say that, uh, and this is confirmed by all colleagues, not just from the country of G7, and it's uh, also from the uh, country from Global South, 
its platform which united the world because 10 points of the peaceful formula. It's not just about how to end the war in Ukraine. It's about the uh, big uh, crisis which uh, uh, arised and appeared as a result of this war. I mean about the crisis, uh, it's about food security, it's about nuclear security, it's, it's about ecology, and of course, it's uh, about the very important humanitarian things, because for Ukraine, we need to back not just our territories, we need to back all our people, especially, and, and one of the main, very painful for us, we need to back, uh, to back all our Ukrainians' children uh, who was illegally deported uh, to the Russia Federation and uh, um, occupied territories. And now we are working. I'd like to say that we already, the at least of the country which we involved, very impressed. It's uh, three, four times more than we uh, have in the meeting in Copenhagen. And we continue this work. Once again, thank you very much for all colleagues in uh, all the world, because it's really very important. Andrei, you're Ну що ж, пане Андрію, ми хотіли б подякувати мені за те, що ви взяли участь в нашій роботі з Києво, і думаю, що в завершенні війни ми будемо зустрічатися ще. Thank you very much, and I'm sorry that I can't be today with you physically, but I hope very soon after our victory we can meet. Thank you very much. Slava Ukraini!